Hey, what's up everybody? As I promised yesterday, we're starting our first case review videos for the Galaxy S8 Plus. I received my phone early, so today we're starting with Spigen. Enan here from Udroid Mania, and you're watching my quick review. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's get to it. First up, we've got the Neo Hybrid. This is probably Spigen's most popular case. I mean, you guys ask me questions about it all the time. This is a two-piece case. It's made from a TPU inner and a polycarbonate outer ring. When it comes to the install, you don't need to separate the cases. Just snap it right in. I always start from the top and then insert the bottom. When it comes to the design of this case, Spigen only slightly modifies it with each new release. And being that this case is always so popular, you guys know I'm always going to cover it for you. Today, I'll try not to make this video too long. There's usually never any issues with the ports, so we'll move on to the buttons. Personally, I like buttons that aren't too mushy and have a nice click to them, and you get that with this case, even with a dedicated Bixby button. Up top, you've got the sole cutout for the noise-canceling microphone, and a responsive power button on the right. And I'll just tell you now, the rumors are true when it comes to the fingerprint scanner. You're gonna need a case to find it, because without one, it's not that easy. Trust me, I've tried. If this case is just what you'd expect from Spigen, the link is down below, so go and check it out. Next up, we have the liquid crystal case. It's made from a flexible TPU, as you can see here, and it comes in multiple colors. It's a one-piece case that goes on with ease. This case does add a ton of grip to your S8, reducing the need to worry about dropping it. Being that this case is clear, you know what you're going to have to worry about, I say it all the time. And if you don't, leave it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. When it comes to the liquid crystal, you're not going to get much in the way of protection here. You're going to want the Neo Hybrid for that. With this case, you can just grab it when you want to show off the sheer beauty of your S8. When it comes to quality, I never really have an issue with Spigen. Your buttons are always tactile and responsive, just as you'd expect. Cutouts are always precise. And with this case, you'll get a small bezel for that lay on the table support. On the back of the case, and I can't stress this enough, you'll definitely need that case to help guide your finger. And since the cases aren't really made for left-handed people, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to to properly get to that scanner. By no means is this the fault of Spigen or any other case manufacturer that we're going to look at, so just keep that in mind. Of course, the link's down below, so go and check it out. Next up, we've got the Thin Fit, and for me, thin cases as well as metal cases are usually my favorite. For me, these are the cases that I tend to gravitate to. This case is a one-piece case made from a hard polycarbonate. If you're going with this case, you'll get some minimal protection here. And I do mean minimal. As you can see here, the Bixby button and the volume up and down rocker are left exposed. The top is covered with the exception of the noise-canceling microphone. On the right-hand side, there's more of the same when it comes to the power button, which brings us to the back of the case. And this time, I'll just let you look for yourself. And with today's cases, the bulk is kept to a minimum. If you're like me, and the thin fit does it for you, the link is down below, so go and check it out. Finally today, we've got the Ultra Hybrid. With this case, you can think liquid crystal but more protective. This case is one piece, but it's made from a TPU bumper and a polycarbonate hard back, which is going to be prone to scratches, so that's something to consider. The Ultra Hybrid does come in multiple colors and even a variant with a kickstand. Checking out the corners, you can see that they're beefed up a bit. Spigen touts that air cushioned technology, but they don't say that their cases are necessarily military drop certified so keep that in mind. With this case, you can almost say that it's a triple threat when it comes to design, protection, and functionality. This is why I keep this case in my collection. The Ultra Hybrid looks good, and it feels good in the hand. It's got a thin profile and it doesn't add a lot of weight to the phone. And if you've got the Orchid Grey like I do, you definitely want to show off your phone. And this case does it. With this video coming to a close, the last thing that I want to mention today is that with each case that I purchase, I always take a look at signal strength just to make sure that there aren't going to be any issues here. And as you see, signal strength's looking good. 
of the four cases that we've seen today, they're on the lower end of Spigen's price spectrum. Spigen's a known brand and the quality's always good, which is why I come back to them, and the reason why I recommend you check them out. Okay, so there you guys have it. What do you think of these four cases by Spigen? Many of you have probably seen them before, as I've covered them for other model phones, including the LG G6. Spigen's cases are tried and tested. I've actually been using them for a number of years now, so they're a go-to brand for me. When it comes to their cases, I always know exactly what I'm gonna get. Out of this bunch for me, the thin fits my favorite, and I've said that before. But what I'm curious to know is which, if any of these cases are you interested in. Leave that in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, now would be the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content like this. Today, I've got one more video coming. We're going to be looking at tempered glass screen protectors. Yeah, that journey starts today. If you've enjoyed this video, do leave a thumbs up. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.